All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. And uh, let's see. I actually forgot to bring up some stuff, so <clears throat> we'll need to talk about this. Um, all right, there we go. All right, especially since, for some reason, no one's really covering it in cryptocurrency news, which is kind of a big deal, right? But, yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. So anyway, I was spending some time playing Tarkov last night because I thought I was doing pretty well, and then I died twice in a row to dumb, retarded shit again. And it just tilts me so much to realize that, like, there's nothing worse than knowing what to do. You have everything set up, but you still die simply because, like, you know, your, your aim is just a little off or because there's no crosshair or, like, you know, the guy should have been dying, but for some reason he just hits you twice with a shitty pistol. Even though I'm unloading an entire magazine of AKM rounds, which is like the big 762 rounds. And it's just like, you know, why am I playing the fucking game? And there's nothing I could do about it because I didn't play the game enough, so my accuracy is like just all over the place. So it's like, why do you even bother having this shit in the fucking game, right? It's like, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. And then I just realized, like, yeah, I really have to make my game because there's no other game that I... The game I want to play does not exist, and it's just tilting. So, anyway, um, so I finally finished the Photon turn-based game, and of course there was an error in the code, but I just didn't give a shit. It's like, yeah, whatever. I have I downloaded the course files, so I could always look at it later. It, again, it's another reason why I just don't like Photon. They just generate so many errors, but then Azure Playfab is actually upgrading shit, so right now Microsoft is still upgrading stuff, so there's like nothing I can do. So I have to use shitty Photon. <clears throat> and then... Um, and then what I'm doing is now I'm up to the Azure Playfab uh, uh, section, and it's actually a lot shorter. So what I'm doing is I'm just dialing the course files. I'm just watching the videos. I'm not even doing any of the programming because it's just taking. It's just going to take too long. I just want to get. I want to get to making the fucking game already, right? Uh, and then once I finish the Azure Playfab stuff, then I'm going to look at the city building portion of the uh, Zenbook course. Do the same thing. It's like four or five, maybe six hours of a city building thing. Uh, I'll just get the course files. I'll watch them do it. There's no multiplayer in that, right? So that's going to present a challenge later. Uh, though I could actually go spend $300 and buy that city building uh, asset, right? And I, I could probably just pull a lot of info from that. Um, I don't know if I can just straight up import it into like the existing game, right? But uh, it'll be interesting to see how I can have that done. I mean, in fact, if I'm spending that kind of money, right, I can probably just pay like a little extra, like, I don't know, 100 bucks to ask them, okay, how can I just import that into my project without interfering with my project? Because it's it's going to be a separate instance-based thing, right? So it's basically, uh, uh, it's basically you're like loading another game, essentially. So, because everything's segregated in Unity called scenes. So all it's going to do is just load the city building scene. So it should not interfere. But the difference is I'm going to try to hook up the city building stuff with the same database stuff in, you know, the base game. So that, that, that'll that be an interesting challenge. Uh, so, yeah, with that being said, we'll could take a quick look at these headlines. But uh, it does look like I briefly looked at things and it does look like the markets are kind of stable. Right. So uh, we'll take a look. Also, I did look at coronavirus stuff. So. I mean, it's a little worrisome because now we have a 39-year-old healthcare worker from I who came back from Iran who actually has coronavirus, and they say that her husband will likely test positive because obviously husband and wife live together. So it's somewhere in Manhattan, uh, but she's in isolation, um, and because she's a healthcare worker, she knew to take the proper precautions just in case uh, she was infected, and thank God she did. So I think we should be fine. Uh, New York officials here said that we should expect a lot more infections. So it's, it's actually better to just try to prep people for, you know, when the inevitable happens. Because the last thing you want is wide scale panic. Like that's one kind of that's kind of one thing that. Funny enough, I think enough people are pretty aware of not inducing. Right. Because a nobody benefits from it. But B. The people who have the most to lose from a wide-scale panic are the globalists in control. And the last thing they want, the globalists want, is to lose control. Right? They're already losing control because of Nick Fuentes and the uh, America First PAC, um, yeah, which was a resounding success. 
And, uh, you know, I, ca I caught his show last night. Of course, while losing in Tarkov, of course. Like, oh, well, that's the other thing, too. I actually made a profit despite dying to stupid shit, but that's the problem. It doesn't feel good. I just got, like, free shit for... It's like... That's just a stupid game design. I should lose because I deserve to lose, and I should win because I deserve to win, because I made the right decisions, right? You know, I can't be fighting the shitty game mechanics. Oh, God. So I definitely have to make sure... So, yeah, so I have to think about, you know, time to kill. Instead of 10 seconds, maybe I'll drop it to, like, 5 to 6. But I don't want people instantly dying. That's, uh... You know, the, the, those World of Warcraft classic days from, like, when I was going for High Warlord are over. So, you know, I, uh, I have to, you know, uh, try to strike a balance. But then I don't want it to go too long either, right? Because my instant stuff is only going to be, like, 20 to 30 minutes long. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to figure out how to implement, like, a timer inside Photon. It should be pretty easy. And then just say, if the timer runs runs out everybody just dies in the instance so you know either you die or you extract from the instance because i don't want you hogging up server resources on photon so uh it'll be a it'll be an interesting challenge anyway uh well so i did that digression so why did i do that digression oh man see i uh, i don't know my memory's not good enough but um yeah the coronavirus stuff um, I know I was talking about coronavirus. Oh, yeah. So you don't want to induce a huge panic because, again, you don't want... Because, again, I've said this before in previous videos, but I'll say it again. You know, when... Uh, what you call it? If everyone's actually panicking and worrying about coronavirus, what are you going to wind up doing? You're going to stock up on guns, you're going to stock up on ammo, and you're definitely going to stock up on food and medical supplies. What does that sound like? Right? Does that sound like a certain type of person? Specifically, a right-wing type of person? Yes, it sounds like a prepper. Right? Pre and the last thing the globalists want are like a massive amount of people becoming preppers and right-wing people. <laughs> right? Because what do right-wing people tend to do? They question, they question the government, they question the government agenda, and they start quest asking questions that you're not supposed to be asking, right? That's why Apex going ape shit, right? They had like, like Roosh V actually. Uh, one thing I like about Roosh V's Twitter is like he hardly tweets, so I can actually find all the shit that I need very quickly. Without semitism, uh, that's actually a good point. Uh, whatever. He may be the funniest man in America. Okay, we will actually play that. He's a wheelbarrow for the first time in my life. Oh, wow. Uh,. World beauty versus graceful. I I did actually read this article. It's actually pretty good. Where is the? It actually, it'll be significantly worse. Coronavirus. Where? Oh yeah, I went to Target on Sunday because I wanted to get some more French fries. It was actually really good. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was. I wish I took a pic. I should have took a picture of. It, but there was no eggs. All all the eggs and egg substitutes were just gone. There was like two three cartons of like. Uh, organic eggs and that was it but everything else was pretty well stocked here we go so here is uh it's afraid uh, today i must sound the alarm so apac is literally like look at this i'm not going to read this but look at the size of this thing all right they are yeah so when everyone in america and then really the world becomes con far right-wing conservative preppers because they have to and that includes all the liberals because liberals also know if they don't prep they'll die right so you can't do your virtue signaling bullshit. Like it's like, oh, oh I don't want to be a racist. I don't want to be racist against Chinese people in Asia. Oh, I got coronavirus. Oh, right, and then you die. It's like I appreciate the sentiment, but you know you still have to become you know a fucking prepper, right? And yeah, just avoid everybody if you can. Don't be a judgmental racist asshole, but just say, hey, look, I'm avoiding all personal contact because coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Don't get near me, but don't. But I shouldn't get near you either. Let's just try to keep distance, right? Is hey, do you have your face, man? See, that's the thing too. I don't want to tell. I don't want to be telling people to just avoid each other too. It's like then people are just gonna because right now, remember, only six people have died from coronavirus, right? I don't want people to start getting into fights and shit, right? Like, cause I did the video yesterday, right, where we watched that white guy getting angry at the black racist lady that hates white people, and then they were both going at it, 
right? That's much more likely to cause violence, right? Especially in our like a right wing area where everyone's carrying a gun. I'm kind of surprised people don't get into verbal arguments and then they get so angry they just pull out their gun and just shoot the other guy, right? And then it, and then it just shows up on like the crime statistics as gun violence, right? Mur attempted murder or whatever. Right, you know, because most people who shoot each other, they actually know each other, right? Like, what is it, 60 80 percent of all gun crime uh, is perpetrated perpet perpetrated by people who knew each other in one form or another. So, that's a pretty big thing. All right, so Roosh is definitely a crit uh, definitely criticizes Trump for doing bad things, right? Or doing what he or or Trump not doing what he's supposed to, which is good. I respect, I actually like that because I do the same thing. Right, Trump is still a man. He's not God, so you know, yeah. But let's see. So let's see what he has to say here. Actually, I don't. I honestly don't think he knows what office he's running for. Oh yeah, he's going after. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. You know, maybe he gets in because he's a little more moderate. So maybe he gets in, but he's not going to be running it. Other people are going to. They're going to put him into a home, and other people are going to be running the country, and they're going to be super left radical crazies. They're going to be super left radical crazy. Joe's going to be in a home. He'll be watching television. Everything will be just fine. Actually, I don't, I honestly don't think he knows what office he's running for. And it doesn't matter. You know, maybe he gets in because he's a little more moderate. At least for all Trump's faults, at least he knows still, he still knows how to insult people. And it's quite hilarious too. Yeah. Yeah. Cause remember, right? Joe Biden's losing it. He said he was running for Senate when he's really running for president. And he said 150 million Americans have died in the last 10 years due to gun violence, right? <laughs> oh, man. You know, as much, I mean, as much as I like to still see Bernie versus Trump because of the whole truth thing, and I also want everyone to start getting, specifically the boomers who are still like, you know, like, in fact, uh, I had, nah, I don't want to get too into it, but I had another boomer idiot just, like, we follow each other on Twitter, which, of course, I probably blocked him because he's retarded. Uh, but, like, uh, I, I like that everyone has to come to terms with who they really are, and people don't like that. And I'm finding out that a lot of conservatives, you know, while they're much better than their, the left in terms of embracing the truth and going, yeah, you're right, Jason, I, you know, I have a problem. The boomers in particular just like just don't want to hear it and like i don't like that and like you know it's just like okay they, they they're gonna get what they deserve and they're gonna be punished because they're fucking everything up right and they're contributing to the problem because i because where are the boomers supporting uh you know nick fuentes where are the boomers supporting michelle malkin where are the boomers supporting you know true news right now there are some good boomers and therefore at that point they're not boomers and they're grumblers right but you know, at some point, you know, you got to stop shilling for foreign countries over your own country. And you got to stop shilling for big corporations that are censoring everybody and fucking us all in the ass with our consent. All right. And it's just starting to get like to the point where you're actually harming the country. So, you know, you know, it's time to ruffle some feathers, you know. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, again, you know. Try not to judge. Try not to get too angry. Right. Because, you know, do I really wish them well? Oof, you know, I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna have to wait till I actually forgive my mom and dad before you know I can basically say the same thing, but still not have too much emotional attachment to it. Uh, but on the other hand, yeah, I still have to call it the truth for what it is. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I kind of forgot where all this digression was going, but yeah, the whole point is coronavirus already has a huge incentive to be eradicated, all right? So the globalists are go like, cause look already. Like, look what's already happening, right? APEC's already going ape shit already, right? They know what's going on. That's also probably why that the, the vaccine or cure that they said they'll, they'll have ready in, uh, to test in three weeks might actually be real. But it's also suspicious, too. So it's like, you know, I'm re I really am beginning to think, like, you know, this was like a CIA, you know, Israel, like, virus, right? From, SAR like, originally SARS. We got deployed in China, and then China, um, because Mike Cernovich actually mentioned the Wuhan lab with his, uh, uh, Millie Weaver, uh, interview that I watched yesterday. Oh, my God. Uh, I know I liked it somewhere. 
Oh yeah, this Tom and Jerry thing was pretty hilarious. Oh, come on. I know I hit the like button on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. And I can't go, and I can't go to Mike's timeline, because obviously he tweets, like, a 50 trillion an hour. But he basically said that, like, it's now actually confirmed. Uh, I forgot what they specifically said. Oh, yeah, they said you couldn't talk about the Wuhan uh, biolab. Like, the Internet's actually, and YouTube's actually, like, censoring it, apparently. Um, even though you actually can just source it from a legitimate... Uh, biology website, I forgot, like Nature News or something. So, uh, yeah, it's like, it's clearly, like, there's clearly something going on. Uh, and then I still would stick to my original theory, which was coronavirus was a man made virus in, Wu in Wuhan, but it's a strain of SARS because they all compare it to SARS and it's actually got a similar genetic makeup. So, I think, again, China was trying to create a vaccine for like whatever the hell this coronavirus is so like you know when SARS and all this other SARS like stuff comes out because also MERS was and swine flu was a problem in China too uh you know again somebody Wuhan screwed up probably leaked it by accident and then they I try to can't is not going to come out and say oh yeah we screwed up you know our bio lab uh, leaked it whoops sorry they're not going to say that you know they're going to find a convenient scapegoat that's very believable and at the same time, you know, get rid of a very, I don't want to say the word deplorable since it's associated with us Trump supporters, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to say deplorable. I can't think of a better word. A, re a really disgusting behavior, which is eating bats and wolves and other crocodile shit in the Wuhan animal market, like live animal market, and bats. Yeah, so they kill two birds with one stone. They cover up the Wuhan lab virus stuff, and China also gets to remove uh, and stigmatize a very negative behavior that nobody should be doing, especially Chinese people. So I think that's really what happened. Uh, and then there's some weird thing where China and Israel are actually kind of working together, but then they also like to bash each other, or at least Israel likes to bash China a lot. So it's it's like so complicated. But yeah, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. And of course, is uh, and of course, uh, there are a lot of Jewish groups that are saying, "Well, try to boycott Israel on this," which makes me even more uh, antagonistic, uh, which makes me more cynical uh, about the whole situation. So I can't say any more because I don't want to risk getting banned. But like this whole thing just seems so fucking uh, uh, suspicious and fishy. So you know, you're not winning any friends with it uh so yeah but anyway uh bitcoin searches for last week has been finalized at 11 they're still adjusting it nothing for this week still i still haven't gotten my package yet but according to but it looks like amazon assumes i'm gonna get my package today so i chose not to do anything right because i did usps redelivery and it turns out that it actually takes two days right because information redelivery is so bad especially on the web on the website so if every day i kept doing their redelivery request because for some reason you can request redelivery for the next day but the website says it takes two days so why would they have that stupid option so so i think what was happening was i was recreating a ticket because there's a one day lag because the postmaster has to check the tag only once a day and then process it the next day ah oh, it's insane but oh well we'll see Hopefully I get my shit today, and then I already ordered a backup uh, thing that's going to arrive tomorrow for sure by USPS. It's a Wednesday. Uh, it better not be dumped at the fucking post office again. It better be delivered to my door, because that's the whole point of ordering online. I don't even know why they dumped it at the post office. They never do that. It's like, your item's ready for pickup. It's like, you never even delivered it to me. You never even attempted it. You should be like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, 24 hour volume is at 173 billion. Not too bad. Bitcoin dominance is at 63.8%. So it looks like markets are relatively stable, right? Crypto is pretty stable still, 87.79. It does look like it wants to go down, but so we'll have to see. Uh, again, this coronavirus stuff is just like so volatile, right? Because the potential for damage is so huge. But luckily at this time, it's still pretty low. So it's like. It's like escape from Tarkov, man. You just never know what's going to happen to you, right? But un unfortunately, in real life, we can't just do a hatchling run and just do everything risk-free. 
Uh, so. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Like, because of bad game design, that's why everyone does hatchling runs, including me, right? You know, I go out geared, and then I just die to stupid shit yet again, right? And then, and then Tarkov does nothing to really stop, uh, you know, uh, high ping bastards who use proxies to deliberately increase their ping so that their peaker's advantage is, like, just retarded. Like, they literally get one, two seconds free to just open up on you. Right, and then you die instantly. So it's like it's like it's like cheating. It's it is cheating. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Litecoin's at sixty one dollars. Uh, so pretty much the chart patterns are stable for now, but maybe it might go down. Like I would not be confident in calling a bull run, um, but I'm not overly confident about calling bear either. So we're just gonna have to see. Like it's um, again just dollar cost buying, not even average. Even though that's what it's called, right? Just. Just buy a little here, buy a little there. Dogcoin has increased 3.8%, so at least that's kind of nice. 300.5 300, 300 million market cap, so that's pretty nice. And of course, we'll get to this later, but Steam uh, is at 18.44 cents. All right, so it looks like Steam will be pretty stable. According to Justin Sun, uh, things are... He said there were hackers, but I don't know. We'll just get to it, but like... I don't know. There's like what? Uh, I've been retweeting some of this stuff. Then I also had a story about uh, three dollars an hour robot burger flipping robot. I think it's in Afghanistan. And then that had interesting uh, things. And then here's my little uh, tweet. And of course, uh, for some reason, a Trump supporting boomer decides to get angry uh, at this tweet. It's like, well, like what? It's like, it's the left wing people that it's like. I don't know. I'm beginning to just wonder. See, I did a Spark Turtle audit on my account. They said that it's about 4,000 fake. It's like, I don't know. I think the amount of people following are just way more fake. It's like, what? Um, oh, yeah, this was pretty funny. Great China free delivery food from Corona. <laughs> um... So, oh yeah, here's the good news about the coronavirus. So China has beat the outbreak. They are now at the exponential decrease portion of the outbreak curve. And I was right again. Yeah, so that's why I just don't go too crazy with it. So we're now at the beginning curve of our outbreak. And then it'll peak and then it'll go down. Obviously, the fear is how high is that peak going to be, right? Because if you look at L curve. We just, yeah, this is exactly what it is. It's just the bell curve, right? China has already reached this point, and now, according to Mook Juice, he was retweeted by Mike Cernovich. That's where I read it. Uh, you know, now they're exponentially going back down again, especially now that the weather's getting warmer, right? Thank God. So, yeah. So it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. But it can get annoying because obviously it's going to be very, pretty disruptive. But what's good is if we can ideally get hey she's pretty attractive looking i didn't see this picture here before also i would gladly eat from something like this this looks so clean this looks so clean like some fast food restaurants especially some mcdonald's they look like because especially because the employees here in new york city don't give a shit even though they're not they're all getting 15 dollars an hour it, it looks dirty it's like did they take a piss and crap on the food you know <laughs> it's like you know it's uh it's a little worrisome uh, but with that being said, I forgot where I was going on all this, but yeah, um, I think we should be fine, right? We should be fine from, uh, coronavirus, but we'll, we'll just have to see, you know, cause I'm a little worried now because I still have a compromised immune system because of my inflammation problem. There's nothing I can do about it because of my, cause I'm still in the process of losing body fat. You know, it's like, yeah. You know, it's like, obviously I'm doing the best that I can, but I just need more time. So, yeah. But the good, again, the good news is we should be pretty safe here. So, yeah. Uh, and then Steam, yeah, we already covered Steam. So, what? This thing was saying was negative. Now it's saying it's positive? What the hell's going on in the stock markets? Oh, okay. So, it was down a lot, and then it has shot back upwards. Fed cuts rates by 50 basis points amid coronavirus holy shit oh yeah yeah the fed the federal reserve is like yep flood the world with money <laughs> okay stocks haven't bought my way for the signal uh well too late uh see 
if you took my advice, which a lot of people, I think, did, but some others did not because they were retarded and unfollowed me on uh, BitChute or whatever, well, you just got fucked, right? You just lost a lot of money. You just lost a lot of money because now you're just, yeah, you, yeah, let's see. How's MMRL doing? Yeah, see, look, I know what I'm talking about, and it's just annoying when I meet stupid people who choose to leave. But, I mean, then again, like, when people choose to move away from God, I mean, imagine how God must feel. Does he even feel all the emotion of getting annoyed? So, uh, yeah, it's like, as Jesse Lee Peterson says, you know, yeah, go, su uh, go suffer and die, all right? I'll be happy making my money. So, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I'm up a nice chunk. So I, I bought MMRL when I was at like $12.22. I only had enough money to buy like two shares or whatever. Uh, but I was buying up other shit too. Yeah, so yeah, it will be Tamaguchi. Especially now, again, I completely forgot about this. But now that China has actually is now breaking the outbreak, right? Uh, that's good. That's actually good because... Because what's happening in China is gonna is gonna be reflect is it gonna be copied by everyone else in the world, right? Iran's getting their outbreak, uh, Italy's getting their outbreak. Like in fact, in northern Italy, I think it's in Lombardy is the primary center, uh, the city of Lombardy or the state or whatever it's called province. Ten percent of the healthcare workers cannot work because they all have coronavirus. So yeah, it's pretty crazy shit. But I think if um, but I think genetically, all Italians tend to be white, obviously. So I think they're going to be okay because this coronavirus disproportionately kills, um, you know, Asian people. Specifically, immune system compromised Asian people, and of course, uh, older Asians. So yeah, I'm actually pretty at a, at a high risk. So if I catch this coronavirus, I might actually probably just die from it too. So it's like, oh, you know, I better make sure that I. Uh, have put on my Twitter or my will or something to hand all my stuff to a certain to certain family members in case uh, you know I I meet Jesus Christ before I would like to you know so uh, yeah uh, so, but yeah I'm pretty sure God's gonna do everything he can he can to make sure that doesn't happen uh, okay so all right so it was something weird it was down 300 points and now the Dow is up a lot so yeah so the Fed is cutting uh let's see reverse losses after federal reserve delivers emergency rate cut so a lot of people like to talk shit about the fed or centralized government or whatever and you know there's a lot of cri uh, good criticism to it but this is the reason why it works centralization works that's why we're not all in you know up in arms all right yeah this actually helps so unfortunately it was a good move right and Trump must be very happy because now the because you know all he cares about is the stock market essentially. Uh, so now he doesn't have to worry about it. Now he just needs to make sure that the coronavirus doesn't go insane. And there was a Breitbart article that says that Trump is doing more than all the previous presidents ever did in handling an outbreak. So I think we'll be uh, I think we'll be all right. Uh, I'm not even going to read this stuff. G says the vaccine stabilized stock market extra low rates. They do not have a vaccine stabilized economic slowdown. Uh, I got signed in. I would downvote him because he's retarded. Uh, I get that it's a good line. It sounds good and logical, but he doesn't know anything about economics like I do. So, so Daniel is basically central buyer saying that they will not allow corrections ever again. They will immediately throw money at the markets. Then it drops even a tiny percentage. How is it only people with common sense see the giant bubble this monetary policy is creating? Well, if you do anything about money, you'll realize that it's all about mentality. Things can go up forever if everyone chooses to believe uh, it can go up forever. It's it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, will it cause problems later? Yeah, of course it could. Uh, it could. It could. But will it? Right? People are just assuming that it will. Yeah. But remember, they dropped to fifty because of coronavirus, so they'll just bring it back up later. The interest rates, like people just forget that. Excuse me. So yeah, but either way, it's good for now. Will it cause? Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have to see what what the effect is, right? Because technically, yeah, you're flying the market with a lot of stuff. But the thing is, the banks are all greedy pieces of shit. So mortgage rates are still probably still going to be expensive, right? Because the Fed rate is now basically zero percent, and banks are still charging three to four percent interest on the mortgage, right?
So that three to four percent interest spread, the bank keeps all that money. So it, 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 it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. So I wouldn't I wouldn't panic yet uh, panic too much, right? The only time we would uh, yeah, and that's the thing too. Banks are paranoid about two thousand eight, two thousand nine uh, again. So they're not going to be uh, lending money out willy nilly either. So. What happens is just money just stockpiles and just do, uh, does nothing. So it, it, does, it winds up not actually going to circulation in the world. It's very complicated. You can't just make assumptions. You especially cannot just listen to all this random right-wing shit. I used to listen to it, right? It's partially correct. But that's the problem. It's partially correct. JFC coins at three to four. Um, no, I don't think the wallet's down. I don't see a message here. So, all right. So it's doing all right. JFC coins doing pretty solid. Uh, I didn't realize this, but I think the reason why proof of stake coins here were doing well was because uh, of the steam dump or the steam problems so uh, with Justin Sun and the blockchain going down. So a lot of investors probably got uh, nervous and just decided to go into all proof of stake coins. 404 coins at 67. It's still pretty steady. Uh, it went as high apparently yesterday uh, up to 9 or 10, right, which I missed. Uh, but for the most part, it's holding. It's all holding okay. Uh, two by twos at sixty-two to sixty-seven. You know, not too bad. Pretty decent. Uh, oh, it's ten. Uh, let me make sure I grab my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes free energy shit. All right. Uh, get my freebie over here. Uh, that's a worthless item, and we'll just leave that there. Okay. Uh, so it's a 62 to 67. Uh, it's been pretty volatile, but still pretty stable. But still a little bit pretty stable at high 50s to low 60s. So I'm happy with that. And of course, the trade volume across the board is pretty good. So uh, we're not going anywhere. And once I get my stupid game out, all right, uh, and start working on it, you know, we'll uh, we'll have some fun. Because PlayFab actually was not nearly as hard as it looks. I just wish they had supporting documentation. But Microsoft is feverishly, you know, upgrading so much shit that like, and things are changing that they don't have documentation yet. But, uh, but, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I think I'll be able to combine the Photon portion so that when you're actually playing the game, that will, that, that multiplayer thing will be handled by Photon. And then when you get your rewards and go back to your character screen or whatever, uh, that's when Azure Playfact comes in and starts, um, you know, assigning and storing your your items and your currency. So uh, it's, uh, it should be very doable. And um, yeah, and I can't use the matchmaking part portion of Playfact because I have to pay ninety nine dollars a month to unlock it. So it's like, all right, I'm just gonna have to use Photon for the time being. Uh, Kapow coins basically at six thousand two satoshis of a dog coin up to seventy four ninety. So Kapow coins doing all right after the initial boom. Uh, and yeah, it's back to whatever it was. So yeah, but the good news is it's got it's got some pretty good strength here. So and because it's so hard to mint compound coins, well you know what are you gonna do? Um, okay, yeah, I didn't realize just how many followers are. Like, yeah, but let's see. I don't, oh, you can't see the, uh, yeah, you can't see the uh, the little tool tip. It says 11,005. So uh, when I'm done with this following portion, I think there's going to be like, it should be 100, but it looks like it's going to be up to like around 200. It's going to be a very small number. So at least my, sh my shitty Twitter profile will at least look respectable. And of course, I'm still losing followers every day, so. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. See, I was smart. I already, uh, you know, stocked up, man. And yeah, I had to bring the stupid, uh, push cart too, so. Yeah. Oh, and I, and I use hydrogen peroxide to clean the wheels, because I actually store it, you know, where I walk around barefoot. So that means, yeah, I have to kill all the germs and E. coli and whatever, so, you know. Steam, so, alright, so let's get to Steam. I don't even think... I mean, obviously, I don't even care about this killing. But I don't know. Is killing the Bitcoin conference? Oh yeah, Mitch said he was going to the Bitcoin conference in San Francisco. But I haven't heard anything about from him about it. So he would have mentioned something. Uh, two Chinese national dying alleged North Korean Bitcoin hack. Uh, post halving. Da, da, da. All right, so nothing on Google. Germany official classifies Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as financial instruments. 
Uh, so that's good. Uh, I do like this thumbnail, so we'll use this as a thumbnail. Uh, Bitcoin bull. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, blacklist Bitcoin tied two hundred million dollars, and yeah, that's money laundering scheme. It's not a cryptocurrency. No, uh, platform borrows payments. All right, so not so nothing here of note. So I don't know why no one's covering Steam. So I'll cover it. All right, so anyway, Steam apparently was being hijacked by Justin Sun. That's what the uh, commenters are saying, essentially. Uh, and then we finally got a response from Justin Sun. Uh, Binance himself has said he's already uh, removed, he undelegated or removed the votes. So he's he's doing what the community wants. So every, And then, I don't know, everyone's accusing him of taking over, and then he's lying. So I'll just leave it up to you. Uh, my personal stance is... I kind of want to believe him, but the problem is, how do you hack? First, how do you hack Steam? And then number two, this whole thing just looks so fishy, right? Most people in the Steam community, though, have uh, assumed that this was a uh, and what's the word I'm looking for? It's an ill act, but a malicious act. That's not the word I'm looking for, but that's a synonym, right? It's a malicious act by Tron and Justin Sun and the exchanges. Um, but I mean, now that I sit down and think about it, what's the coin market cap on Steam? The, the, the market cap of Steam is 66.7 million. Tron is worth one point, yeah. I mean, the economic value of taking over Steam is stupid. Yeah, it, okay. So that's the other thing I, did, I, I realized, I, I forgot to check was the market cap. You're worth $2 billion. Now you're going to try to steal $66 million? Well, I can't say a certain thing because I'll get banned on YouTube, but, you know, he's not even anywhere close to that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Plus, he's a crypto guy like you and me, so he knows what's going to happen if you damage the credibility of a crypto that literally instantly kills a crypto. So he knows not to do that. Yeah, I mean, I'll still be a little suspicious of it, but, I mean, there's a lot of truth to what he might be saying. The problem is he's saying it's a hack, which is weird. This is like saying you can hack JMC 404 or 2x2. You can't hack it. It's a fucking proof of stake coin. But Steam does have delegation and voting, so that might be what he might be referring to. Because <clears throat> uh, the replies here say that the hackers that Justin Sun is referring to are community voters who have been around for three to four years. Actually, I wrote it right here in this tweet. How many people have looked at it? Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, God, I, I, I hate that I have to use Twitter. Steam has successfully divided the hackers and all funds are super safe, I guess. Steam Network and Steam Community is now showing the errors between United and the difficulties. On February 22nd, some malicious hackers froze 65 million Steam legally owned by Steamit, the core Steam developers. When we found out the hackers already hijacked Steam and threatened to nullify the existing Steam, we had a difficult choice. So I think he's basically saying the community witnesses were hijacking the network. We double confirmed with lawyers and were told this was definitely a criminal activity from the hackers who froze $10 million worth of Steam and threatened to destroy the assets. The risk of nullifying the Steam networks puts every Steam holder's interests in danger. So I'm guessing the community managers did not like the Tron Steam merger and they decided to take vigilante action. I think that's what it is. Such actions are against every aspect of the core value of humanity, decentralization, da, da, da. We need to act immediately to safeguard private property. That's true because I'm because I'm shilling for Steam, right? I tell people Steam might be all right. It's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't want to reveal how much I have because um, I know it's good because it's not worth much now, but... At the bull run peak, it's going to be worth five. It's going to be worth easily five to six figures. So I don't want to give that out. All right, it's, it's, it's basically like MRRL, except it'll never never expire, and also pays slightly less dividends. So uh, yeah, so yeah, so if I'm going to be shilling for Steam, I want to make sure that you know our money is safe. All right, I don't want this shit to fork. All right, because I'm just going to get annoyed if it forks. Um, we need to act to safeguard Steam. We know it would be a complicated process since we needed to control the network for a short period of time. So that's when Justin Sun and the exchanges colluded to take over the chain. 
Our sole intent was to secure Steam at stake and Steam holders' interest. Our intention was not to control the Steam network, which means indefinitely. We will commit to withdrawing the votes ASAP once we're sure the hackers cannot sabotage Steam anymore and will give voting rights back to the community. All exchange votes will be withdrawn soon. Shout out to all the exchange parties who helped us save Steam. To avoid hackers retaliation and protect the safety overall network, we have no choice but to keep our actions under cover. However, transparency is our number. Here are the details in the Steam at post. Misleading comments are us collaborating exchange on a hostile takeover. It's false. Our intention was never to do the deed. Okay. So let's say he was, let's say, let's say Justin Sun was being malicious in some of the exchanges. Because of the revolt, now he cannot be uh, doing this, right? So now he has to give back the voting rights at some point. So, uh, yeah. We're devoted to the development of Steam. Da, 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 da. I mean, I will at least believe this because Justin Sun really did want to merge with Steam, right? You know, you don't. If you're if you're a multi billionaire or you work in the billions like this guy does, right? Well, I mean, again, you're going through a lot of hassle for something that's only worth sixty six point seven million market cap. So you're probably telling the truth when you're saying, yeah, we're committed to Steam. All right. So you know, because uh, think of it this way: what if a hot girl is still sticking with you as a man even though like you just lost everything yeah you've met a woman that really is like you know with god and like is a real keeper so uh yeah she's probably telling you the truth because <laughs> there's nothing because there's not there's nothing there for her to go for except you so she really does probably love you for the dumbass that you might be uh right so you know uh so remember you gotta be grateful for what you got right my deepest apologies to the community and exchanges and about the da da for this hack incident. Thanks for your support. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't like a retweet because I don't believe him. Uh, and then you can read the rest of the replies here because I want to cut this video short. But obviously, everyone here is just not buying it at all. What are you swiping me? It must be incredible. There's a while that I ever heard. No hacks, no, no funds ever, not staff. What are you trying to suggest here? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, what are they talking about? Like, what? Like, uh, I don't know. Again, I don't think it's hackers. I think, like, why does he just say renegade community witnesses who did not agree with the Steam and Tron merger? I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is, I cannot buy any more Steam, which sucks because now everything's going up as I figured it would, right? even though I'm not exactly confident calling a crypto bull run here. But Steam has been going up. It's in fact up 3.56%. So I knew to buy Steam and I couldn't. <clears throat> and those exchanges are not open to American customers, specifically New York customers. So I couldn't, not buy, I couldn't buy when I really wanted to fucking buy. Right? And it's just so irritating. All right? So um, let me see. Let me, let me dim this out. Uh, let's go to block trades. Not hot. Uh, oh, actually, it is .us, right? Yes, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is where I go to get it. It's still under maintenance. I also haven't gotten my payout from DLEASE either, so... <sighs> Frustrating. Well, whatever it is... Um... I don't know. I really want to buy more Steam, though. So, let's see. Yeah, 18.44 cents. By the time I can buy Steam, it'll probably be like fucking 30 cents, right? So, it's going to go up 100% or almost 100%. Very irritating, right? I'm missing out. I'm missing out on literally free money because of the stupid Justin Sun hacker bullshit. But, oh well. What are you going to do? Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, uh, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can get the real truth and the real actual working uh, investing advice, which I can't even take advantage of at some times. Uh, but that's just how it goes, right? So, anyway, uh, that for the day. Um, God, I really hate that I, I'm getting hungry-ish, even though I'm overweight. That's the most frustrating thing in the world, you know? And my inflammation's flaring up just a little bit. Right? Actually, it could just be a rash, because it's around my ear area. So, 
I don't know. And I have to lift plates today, too. So, oh, well, I'll figure something out. Anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. There goes my bit hero. All right, looks good. And, uh, yeah, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Judson Chan, uh, JMC coin, 404 coin. And right now you should be buying uh, not only crypto and stuff that's going to help you get rich. Uh, and Steam, if you can acquire some Steam, if you're willing to acquire Steam. So you can lease it out on dlease.io when all this chaos with the Steam blockchain is worked itself out. Uh, yeah, also just stock up in supplies. But since China has actually now been uh, the outbreak curve, uh, I completely forgot about it, but since the outbreak curve, actually, you know what? Let's retweet that. Um, can I just do this? What does it look like if I do that? Um, totally not what I wanted. All right. See, the reason why I don't like doing the undo retweet because it just disappears from my timeline. I really hate the new Twitter. I really, I, I really do. Mook juice. That is not the Mook juice. Oh my God. Where is? Uh, great. Uh, let me see if I can search for it. Uh, outbreak curve mook. Let me see. Yeah, is it, Twitter is such a piece of garbage. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, good luck to that. Uh, turn a flu. And I just say anything that might cause uh, Tulsi next. Uh, oh, there it is. <clears throat> yeah, what the hell? It says, oh, God, Twitter is such a piece of garbage. It literally says milk juice. Look at this. Oh, you can't see it because my stupid camera is. Oh, God, I can't. Twitter is such garbage. All right. Anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, here's the thumbnail. All right. James, uh, what is it? James, what do I even used to say? Johnson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin. Yeah, I could just continue buying not only crypto assets, especially now the Fed rates are dropping. So there's going to be a temporary stock market surge. Um, but of course, do controlled uh, dollar cost averaging buying, and of course, stock up supplies. You know, two weeks minimum, three weeks is the ideal. Obviously, you can fit more in your fridge, go for it. Um, and then, yeah, but you know, I think for the most part, we should be fine. My estimate is we'll probably only, we'll probably have anywhere from like thirty to hundred deaths in America from coronavirus when all is said and done. It's going to be very low. Uh, that's pretty impressive, considering that we actually have essentially open borders. And open travel still uh even though yeah we are increasing more restrictions on travel which we should be doing so yeah i think we'll be fine um yeah so yeah see you all in tomorrow's video